debate on this one. Uh, do you anticipate any problems dealing with the other city council members? No, no, but, but you know, I think sometimes uh, conflict is good. Uh, every council member and woman is his or her own person. I mean, we disagree, uh, but the point is, as, as a council, you must learn that you have to count to four. One person won't get one vote, can't get anything done. So you have to build relationships, you have to build some type of camaraderie, and you have to be able to count for any issue that you're trying to sell before the council meetings on. So as far as conflict, no. Uh, it's not, but I think that's my strongest attribute, the ability to strengthen and build relationships. Mr. Gaskin, your vote. I don't see a council camaraderie between me and my fellow councilmen. Uh, a few months ago, I was back at the city hall, and I was talking to the gentleman involved at the IT department of the city council. And he was telling, and I was telling him about what I was running for city council and what I wanted to do. And he asked me, he said, "Okay, well, that's uh, that's all fine and dandy, but what are your what are your actual your actual what are you going to uh, realize when you actually come here and you realize the actual state of council? I mean, the council and how things work." I said, "Well, for the, for the most part, I definitely want to enthuse the constituents and the people of Valdosta. A lot of people aren't involved." Going around, a lot of areas in my district don't even really know that there's an election right after the presidential election. So I feel like definitely, if I can get the people behind me, I can definitely acquire a majority so I can kind of nip the conflict in the bud. Ultimately, the councils want to help people. So of course there's going to be problems because like I said, some people uh, represent districts that don't, don't, don't necessarily reflect the entire city perspective of how they want things to go. So what I want to do, I definitely want to reach out to people a lot more to kind of resolve conflict because at the, at the end of the day, we can only offer as a city if we come together. So like Ms. Payton said, conflict is good, but for the most part, I want to make sure that my vote or whatever decision or, or argument I bring to the floor is for the people. So that way, as conflict arises, I can say, well, you know what? This is what the people want, not just the people in my district, not just what I want to see happen. Uh, what's up, Mr. Jackson?